Welcome to the Farm Credit Museum. We're here at the Enfield office of Farm Credit East and upstairs in the museum room. I'm standing next to this mural that shows the signing of the Farm Loan Act of 1916 at the White House uh, with President Wilson and assembled dignitaries. And it was really at that moment that the farm credit system got its start nearly 100 years ago. Over the past several years, people have generously donated a tremendous number of great items that really show the heritage of the farm credit system. Today, I'd like to take you for a brief walk down farm credit memory lane and share just a few of those items. Here's a vintage farm credit sign from the 1960s and 1970s. It's from the farm credit office in Auburn, Maine. It sat in an attic stored away for many years. It was recently donated by Fred Morton and Andy Grant, and we're really pleased to have it here. Here's a front office gate from the Shelbyville, Kentucky Production Credit Association office. Interesting story about it. It was crafted from lumber harvested by one of their farmer borrowers on his farm and donated to the association. You can see the PCA emblem carved into that very nicely. And this was recently donated by David Sparks of CoBank, who had started his career working in that office. Over the years, Farm Credits had lots of different gifts and gimmicks to give out to its customers. I think among the most unique is this Federal Land Bank log scaling stick, which goes back to the 1930s. And it was basically something that farmers could use to get a fairer price for their timber that they sold. This was recently donated to us by Lou Trunco, a retired association president. Want to move on to a couple of other items. Uh, this was this sign, uh, which I think is also from the 1930s, advertising 4% federal land bank loans. The interesting thing about that is for much of the time since 1930, 4% would have seemed like a really low rate. Here in the mid 2000 and teens, uh, we're back to 4% loans. This was recently donated by retired President Andy Pichon and like a lot of our other signs, really helps us tell the story of farm credit over the years. Next, I want to show you a photo album uh, donated by Marilyn Hughes. It's her husband, Howell Hughes's uh, retirement album. And it's got just a whole uh, number of great vintage pictures from about 25 years ago. And, uh, but it goes back over Mr. Hughes's entire work career, which spanned 37 years, well back into the 1940s. I love this photo album from the Binghamton, New York office. It spans nearly 40 to 50 years of just different events that occurred in that office, lots of different people. Most of them, we don't know their names anymore, but it was recently donated to us by R.B. Swift, who was uh, soon to retire from Farm Credit, and he was the last branch manager there at the Binghamton office. This is one of my personal favorites. In 1976, the Springfield District launched a tax preparation program, and as part of that, uh, tested folks to certify them that they were qualified to do taxes. This was the very first tax specialist designation issued to Norm Coe, who recently turned this back into us so that we could use it here in the museum. We've got so many neat items here at the museum. We've got old books, pamphlets, annual reports, various business equipment, including an adding machine, a radio that was at the funding corporation, hats, neckties, knickknacks, corporate seals, the list just goes on and on, and it's all great stuff because it tells the wonderful story of the farm credit system over nearly 100 years. Thanks for taking this quick visit down farm credit memory lane here at the museum. Want to close with some thank yous and an invitation. Thank you to Farm Credit East for providing this great space. Thank you to a group of dedicated volunteers, both current and retired employees who help out with the museum. Dick Baldwin, Nancy Cullinan, Ray Levens, Greg Melnick, and Karen Murphy. And finally, thank all of you for all these wonderful items that you have donated. It is just so great. They tell a great story about our farm credit heritage. The invitation, if you're ever in the Enfield, Connecticut area, 
please give us a call or just stop in. We'd love to show what we've put together here at the museum. Thanks.